In just a few hours here, the San Diego City Council will consider who they want to be on the new Citizens Police Review Board. Thanks for being here at 6 a.m. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Dana Marie McNichol filling in for Netta Arampour. Now, the board will continue to weigh in on alleged officer misconduct and suggest disciplinary actions. CBS 8's Chris Grow live at the San Diego Police Headquarters to give us an update on the council's next step to form a commission. Chris? Yeah, good morning, Eric and Dana Marie and the council set to meet in less than four hours now, 10 a.m. That's when they will take up this scheduled item again, trying to actually put members on this commission. Now they have a list of about 63 people and they're going to whittle that down to 25. And what they're trying to do, though, is also get a wide uh, wide range of people trying to make sure uh, that they include those with low to moderate incomes, young people, as well as one person from each council district. So they're going to try to go ahead and fulfill those needs. But the issue that some people have had with this process is how long it's taken to get here. The creation of the Independent Police Practices Commission actually happened after voters approved Measure B in November of 2020. But fast forward today and we're still looking for members to be voted on. And it's not just the delay upsetting those close to the measure and the creation of the commission. It's actually how the current review board is doing. That board has had to stop reviewing less severe police complaints because there's a backlog of cases and not enough commissioners to go through them. Police have had to close internal cases without outside input. And the point of this new police practices commission was to enhance and improve what the old board was doing to give them more powers to give them more oversight. Now, the co-chair founder of San Diegans for Justice and the author of the measure, uh, Measure B, Andrea St. Julian, says the process needs to pick up while Council President Sean Ela Rivera has defended that process. I think we will see a variety of different conversations for different nominees and different seats. Your you know, guess as to exactly what Monday looks like wouldn't be too much different than mine. I, I, I think what cannot be forgotten here is that this is an entirely new process. And despite the city council's clear efforts to slow down this process, we are all going to work together to make sure that this commission is what it needs to be. And we're going to continue to follow what happens today. Remember meeting at 10 a.m. If and when we do learn on who will sit on this commission, we'll be sure to pass along that info both here and on CBS8.com. Eric and Dana Marie.